Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of my Mesa Margiela Reebok Tabby sneakers. For the last few weeks, tabbies have been like the topic of discussion. I'm pretty sure by now we've all seen the TikTok of the girl who went on a date, who's now been dubbed the tabby thief. Though her tabbies, she ended up getting them back luckily. And then people have been making memes and like talking about it and all these do's and don'ts. And I've been wearing my tabbies a lot more lately. So I decided I just jump on the bandwagon and share mine with you. I was gifted my tabbies for Christmas and I just started wearing them only a few weeks ago. If you've been following my TikTok, you saw them as soon as I opened them. Follow my Instagram as or keep up with shorts. You have also seen them there. So make sure you're following my TikTok, Nia2G, my Instagram with one purpose. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything else. But let's get into it. The shoes are already out of the box. Um, I wore them a few days ago and I did not put them away. I'm gonna start with the box here. Like I mentioned, they were I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the box and what's inside. We have the Rebox logo and then we have the Mason Margella numbers. I had absolutely no idea what the numbers meant, so of course I had to do some research. The 22 here is circled because it is a dedicated footwear line. So that's what the 22 is for. All of the numbers coordinate with different things. The thing, for example, three is fragrance, eight is eyewear, and 11 is accessories. So since it is 22, since it's a dedicated footwear line. So that's what the numbers mean. They all have their own special coordinates. And then on the um, wrapping of whatever you get, it is gonna be circled, um, just to specify. So here is the sizing. I did get a 37 and a half. I'm typically a 38, but honestly, I was really pressed for these shoes, so I didn't even care about the size. I am a size six in men's. So 37s and 38s, like they kind of like go back and forth whether they'll fit me or not, because truly I'm a seven and a half in women's. But an eight usually works better, especially if they're a shoe that you have to break in. But I will say, since I've worn them, the shoes fit great. They were a perfect fit upon putting them on and then wearing them as well. I've had no issues. Shoes are made in Vietnam. I've noticed that I've gotten a lot of questions about where things are made. So I hope that answers that question for this video. Although I'm sure someone else will get it. And the shoes are just white. They're casual running sneakers. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of Reeboks before. I know they do a lot of collabs, especially with celebrities. So that's really cool, but I'm really happy that I got my first pair of Reeboks and they happen to be the Mesa Margiela collab because I've been wanting tabbies and the pricing for these was a little bit lower. So of course, since I was able to get them for a gift for Christmas, I didn't have to spend the money, but I also didn't spend the typical price tabbies, um, which is between like 500 and 1200 so the inside plastic cardboard for the shoe it also has the size on it but it also has the Reebok on it and it has the slit in the toe for where the tabby hooves are which is awesome um I wasn't really sure how they were gonna pull that one off to do the um to hold the shape of the shoe unlike my bags for my shoes I do typically keep these um in the shoe because sometimes like just the tissue paper i won't keep but 100 percent will keep the hard cardboard and more of the stickers for these they were hanging off of the laces of the shoe the little dust bags they come in these are typically what goes on the feet of um you know someone that's coming in to do like work on your house or if your guest doesn't want to take your shoes off that's what they are so i got two of these but they'll be easy to put in for travel and then it's just box, literally just box. But now let's get into the shoes, really exciting. So these shoes, they are sneakers, obviously, but they are ventilated. They have cutouts through the sides and the back of the shoe. So these are more of a spring, summer, and now fall shoe are open back, which is why I hadn't worn them, although I were, was gifted them for Christmas. I didn't decide to wear them until a few weeks ago because it just, 
didn't make sense pretty much if you guys are familiar with my channel you guys know i love a white shoe so i have worn them i want to say three times still in great condition of course the bottom's like a little bit worn but that's absolutely no big deal who's looking at that the bottom of the sneakers say reebok um their typical logo i'm not sure what the bottom of other Reeboks look like I can imagine they're the exact same if someone else is into Reeboks please let me know if that's unique to these shoes or if this is the day-to-day -day look for Reeboks on the bottom so here is the toe so when you wear them your big toe goes on this side and your other four toes go on this side it is very comfortable it literally doesn't feel like anything imagine what it's like to wear a flip-flop that's what it's like um, since the back is open, no, I don't wear socks for them, which is a little weird for me considering they are technically a sneaker, but there are tabby socks. I know Uniqlo sells them and Margiela themselves, they sell them. There are socks with the toe available. I'm sure you could find a pair on Amazon. I'll find a pair so that I can link them for you guys if you're interested i mean i guess it would be pretty cool to for me like once it starts to transition to do maybe like an orange sock or like a pink sock or a green sock something that's like really out there and then wear um maybe some ankle pants you can show off the shoe and then show off the socks at the same time i don't know um and on the side you do have another one reebok label and then on the tongue you have the same logo that's on um the box of the shoe and it's also on the inside of the shoe again the 22 is circled and yeah so i've been wearing them tied with this like part tucked back or on the outside it really depends but i really don't mind the laces i don't mind the lacing at all and then it has these three little holes in them and here's the other shoe the exact same and I'm going to show you guys how they look on my feet. So here they are on my feet. You can see, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have quite a bit of space for them to be a seven and a half. I'm not sure if Reebok typically runs good or if it's true to size. I would call this true to size because this is my true size and they fit perfectly. But I was a little bit worried because I know that a lot of shoes tend to on really really small but these are perfect for me and I didn't have to wear them in at all for them to fit which honestly saved me a lot of time and energy and made them me want to wear them even more because how easily my feet fit into them but you can get a closer look of the inside of the shoe with the holes they're very very comfortable the toe does move that is a question that I have been asked repeatedly i can move my toes in these okay seriously i have been asked that so many times wearing these but look it's a little slit i can open it up um but the shoes are really solid and stiff so i can't really do that too much so yeah this is how they look. okay so here they are again as i mentioned i did wear them so obviously like you can tell they were a little worn because they're scuffed i walk really rough and i wore them to work so the back is this tearing material and it's comfortable and it's not like digging into the back of my foot as other materials would. So this is an added comfort. I don't know if this is what it's truly like with Reebok or if this is just how this collab was made and it's also here. So since this is like very plush, it makes them even more comfortable. For a 10 out of 10 shoe. This is a really good conversation starter, honestly. I get so many questions every time that I wear them. They just elevate a look easily. Like if you're doing a plain Jane outfit and then you have these on, automatically you're turning heads because people are like, what's on your feet? I have to know, like people are looking. Back of the shoe, like I said, they've been worn. And I didn't just wear them, like put them on and take them off. I wore them for the full day and I was comfortable the whole day. So this entire part, entire part is open in the back. And yeah, here is the shoe. That is all for my review of my Margiela Tabby Reeboks. Um, I, of course, would absolutely 
love a pair of tabby booties um hopefully i can get some sometime soon and i will of course share them with you i feel like all the fashion girlies have to have um a pair of tabbies like that's like a must have an absolute go-to i'm really happy that i was able to um get these though because i had been wanting them for months so i was super excited that my mom got me these for christmas but i will say like since they were a collab um and the price point was like I know for a fact less than $300 I will definitely try to find a link for you guys as long as they're still available so much cheaper than they typically are they're far more accessible and I think a little bit more wearable for day-to-day -day basis um they're super super comfortable absolutely very comfortable which I love that about them I would say they pretty much run true to size I guess because like I said I am a seven and a half but a lot of the time seven and a half sometimes doesn't really work but since I did get a 37.5 they were perfect and I absolutely love that let me know down below your thoughts on tabbies I know that was also a huge part of the debates and I know that a lot of people debate this on a day-to-day -day basis within the fashion world what are your thoughts on tabbies as a whole i absolutely love the look i think they're very chic i think they're very fun um i like the toe because it gives you something to look at instead of it being just like a plain toe like being 100 percent honest i would not have wanted like a regular pair of sneakers like these without the toe because there are other reebok tabbies that don't have the toe and there are other margellas that don't have the toe but i love the toe slit that solidified it for me. That makes it worth it, especially going into the higher end item of the um, little cow slits and the toe. That makes it unique to me. And that is what sold to me and made me want them. But that's all for today's video. Make sure you guys are following my Instagram at with one purpose and subscribe to my channel so I can see you guys next time.